Hi guys, I bought a loom board. Uh, this loom board came from the store. The rubber bands are latex free. And you got your basic loom board in here. Now, I bought this about a week ago and I've been playing with it, as you can see. And um, the first thing that boggled my mind was why are these next to each other? Why aren't these? Um, like in a v-shape as you see on those YouTube videos um, so I tried to take these off but that didn't really work so then I finally saw a video where somebody just pulled that middle one out so and this took me two hours to figure that out and if I hadn't seen that video I would have still never known it so this is the way you set up your loom board and uh, you got half circles with the hole in the middle of it and this is the way you set up when you go start working but I just bought another one which is actually the original one from TV and that's totally different that's this loom board board and I just received it so it's not opened yet so I'm gonna go open it up and see what we got in there. Um, the difference is that these uh, rubber bands don't say that they're latex free. They're a hundred percent silicone. I don't know uh, if that's better or not, but um, that also means I can't mix up my rubber bands and of course this will be very hard to open up. Tearing it, tearing it, tearing it, trying to get it out. Okay, this is the other loom board. This is for uh, years 8 plus, and I think that this one is for like 3 years old and older, as I saw something on there. Um, I do have to say, these loom bands probably better quality. Oh, they're made in China. Okay. 600 loom bands. Trying to get them out, which is of course very hard to do. And oh, they're much tighter than the ones that come with the other one. But to have some fun, let's start looming. And we get like a loom pick here. This looks actually a little bit better. It's not so big, but maybe that's a downside. So I'm gonna try something. Just gonna go do the basic one. I'm gonna zoom you in for that a little bit. I'm gonna take a red. I'm gonna do a yellow. And a red and a yellow and I'm just gonna finish that up all the way to the end with red and yellow so uh, if you never loomed before I suggest you just set it up and what I also like to do is make sure that my rubbers are straight as I put them on there they twist a little bit so just kind of straighten that out and that's very easily done by just taking your uh, well what is it a crochet needle actually and putting them on there I don't know about these rubber bits but okay we'll see it's probably better quality it feels uh, stronger and sturdier than the one that came with the other box but we'll see. Straightening that out. Something I already figured out myself. It will look better when you straighten them out from the beginning. Red. Yellow. And it's hard to 
do some looming because the board is big and the camera frame is not that big and ending up with a uh, yellow okay put that all aside what you do is you turn the board around and now we work on the right side now this is your first one you can't di disattach that so you're picking up the red one pulling that over and then going on that next top here next one is the yellow one go in there pick it up go over and pull it over the next one pick it up the red one over and over pick up the next one over and over pick up the next one over and over and you can still try and straighten that out a little bit when that one that you just added kind of twisted so you're gonna do this all the way to the end picking up the next yellow one and the next one and the next one next one and sometimes you will let it slip out just try and pick it up again next one and these rubber bands will straighten out uh, when you wear them for a little bit but you know I like to make it look good I just did my last one and I ended up with red so that means there needs to be yellow on this side again if I turn it around I started with red to end up with yellow and I need to put this red one on that first yellow one so that means red I started with red I will start again with red add a yellow I'm going to make this bracelet a little longer add a red and I'm going to do this all the way to the end And when that's all done, I'm going to take off my first row and I'm going to pull that off. And I'm going to put these on my first one right here. So now you got red going with yellow again. Pull that tight pick up that first one and put it over here and now I can just continue and sometimes that will happen and if you can pick it up that's good and I don't like this hook so I'm going to change hooks and I'm going to try two and a half crochet needle which I enjoy way much more as you can see so a real crochet needle will help and this is size two and a half it's a very old one I used to use this when I was still in school like when I was like 14 15 it's about 30 some more than 30 years ago and but uh, I, th I think I'll go get myself a new two and a half that is not so damaged because this works perfectly with two and a half also by the way on the other loom board so now I got two rows picking up this one pulling them off 
and that looks pretty good. We're going to connect both sides, but first, because I'm going to take this yellow one off, I'm going to pick up a yellow one. I'm going to grab it, pull it underneath, and through the loop, like that. Now, I need, and I'm really disappointed, where my hooks, oh yeah, the real one has C hooks with it, so let's stay original, these are the C hooks that go with it, and you can put them on here for easy work. Just kind of put the yellow on there and hook that up. If you can, pull a hook on one side and now we're going to put our hook in the red and I'm going to look for my scissors. Here they are. They're a little bit big and drastic for this job, but I'm going to cut through the yellow one. Oh no, what a waste of rubber bands. Yes, it is. But I like it better when it looks like this. So I'm going to pick up another yellow one, pull it through, go in there, hook that on. I'm going to take my C-clip and try and Keep that a little bit straight, pull that out a bit, see if I can find uh, top, 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 see I'm a perfectionist in many ways, so this is my top row. I'm following that top row all the way to get my hook on there. In sort of the same manner as it has been done on the other side. Okay, and there we got it. Here you got your basic first loom project. Uh, if you did one with the c clabs this is the original one. Let me show you the knockoff now. Let me put that next to it. This is uh, the knockoff. That's the other loom uh, that I used. Uh, I didn't do it quite correctly as I can see from here, but um, when you put them next to each other I think you can see it better. Where it's done correctly. Okay, so. Um, these are definitely thinner elastic bands. Um, when you put it like that, you can definitely see there's a size difference. I'll put it like that maybe. There's a size difference in rubber bands. These are also more transparent and these are a little stronger in color. I like both of them actually. These because they're much stronger and these because they're uh, more flexible. And I really like that little C uh, S clasp that the knockoffs have as opposed to this huge C-clasp. So I really don't like that C-clasp, that's just too big. I really like that light, nice little S-clasp. So, um, but uh, yeah, these are originals. I think if you make the original ones, you should add the C-clasp. And if you make the knockoffs, then add the S-clasp. And I think that's the way it works, so that people can see these are the originals with the C-clasp. Yeah, this was fun, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.